Black Friday is right around the corner and if you want to make massive sales and profits this holiday season, then you should now listen closely because in this video I want to talk about two things. First of all, I start with some general tips on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, some general advice and info on it, especially if this is your first holiday season as an e-commerce entrepreneur. And then second, I want to give you some really actionable step-by-step -step guides on what you can do to make more sales this holiday season. So we are talking about marketing, like things that you can do that you probably didn't know of or that you didn't try before to make more sales and also things that you can do in your online store for example to convert more people to make more sales etc etc all with the goal of making this holiday season absolutely insane for your business so right before we start i also have a little present for you at the very end of this video so that not only your customers get a little goodie but also you as the entrepreneur as the seller so make sure that you watch this video to the end and you will see what i have to give to you guys this being said let's get started right away all right what you need to know about black friday and cyber monday is click prices will be much higher in this time but at the same time you can expect the conversion rates to be higher as well so let's say your normal store conversion rate would be like one or two percent right let's say two percent now with black friday if you have like a solid product if you have a uh, good discount etc in place you can literally expect the conversion rate of anywhere between three to like up to maybe even five or six percent this is what we observed over the years that in during this holiday people are going absolutely crazy and if you have a solid page a solid product you can expect crazy conversion rates however because of the higher prices at the same time the higher cost per clicks the higher cpms it's normally not profitable to advertise and sell very cheap items so if you sell 15 dollars products usually as long as you don't have an absolutely amazing upselling strategy in place which we talk a, little, uh, a bit more later on as long as you don't have that in place it will be almost impossible to sell super cheap products simply because your the increase of cpc isn't outweighed by the conversion rate right so if you if your conversion rate goes from two to 2.5 percent maybe and not to like four but your cpc doubles or something like that then it's extremely hard while with expensive items where the cpc doesn't matter that much the increase in conversion rates is extremely extremely helpful all right so for the first tip let's move to the computer because i want to show you a specific google ads campaign type that you are probably not using that much right now and on top of that i want to show you a very specific little hack to it to make it even more appealing for black friday so if you never used uh, google ads before just check one of my videos about it but i am sure that you are somewhat familiar with it so what you do is you go here on creating a new campaign you then hit create a campaign without a goal and right here you click on search the next thing you do is you click on website visits you know i will just let's say for now i will just enter my ecom ppc academy right here and we hit continue then at the next part you see all kind of different options that you can choose from right and i don't want to go too much in depth on all these things i have enough videos on that but let's call it let's say black friday um children drone campaign right so what we do is we hit the uh, we we exclude the google search partners and exclude the display network let's say we want to advertise in the location of the united states and uh, we skip these things here okay 10 euros um i would just keep it right now that's fine and then right down here you see call out extensions call extensions etc right and what we want to do is we want to add a so-called promotion extension so you can see the promotion extension down here when you expand this whole thing we expand this and uh, what we do here you see we have two promotion extensions already running for this particular store in german what we can do now is we add a new promotion extension and it looks like this so what we do is we say the occasion is black friday and uh they are only here you see black friday promotions are only eligible to show from october 15 to december 15 right and what we can do is we tell them that they get a, per a percent a percent discount of up to let's say 95 percent right so you can um call this here english person discount or you can also say up to person discount so let's say we give them an, a percent discount of up to 95 percent all on all items 
then you enter your final URL. So if you follow this example of selling children drones, children toy drones, you send them to a URL on your store where you have, let's say, 10 different dro drones uh, in a collection. So you see, this makes the most sense if you send people to a collection page and not to just one product page, even though you can do that too. And then you can add some promotion details like on orders over a certain amount, or you can even give them a promo code in the Google ads uh, in, in the Google search results page already. Let's do that and call it, for example, Black Friday um, 10 or something. And then what happens is we can preview that and you see here that right below this, um, right below this ad, you see a little icon here that, that looks like a discount icon. Then it says Black Friday up to 90% of all items code BF. 10. Now the code BF10 is maybe not even necessary because we don't want people to enter a code to get these coupons. We want to make it a site-wide sale where we say at the very top like uh, site-wide Black Friday sale all items up to 90% off and the reason why we say up to 90%, 95% is we can literally just add one or two items that are that much off but of, of course it sounds absolutely amazing on the search results page if, you, if we can tell people that our products are up to 95% off. Even if the majority of our products is like 30, 40, 50% off, this looks way better. And you know why I'm coming up with this specific uh, strategy here with this specific tactic, because this little icon here is so powerful if you scroll through your um, search engine results page and not many advertisers are using this feature yet. So it highly uh, increases the visibility and also the click-through rate of your ads and it pre-qualifies people because they want to get that discount, they want to get that and buy your product. This is why you should absolutely test um, this particular campaign type and or this particular ad extension type no matter whether you used Google Ads before or whether you're absolutely, absolutely new to it. If you want to start using Google Ads too now make sure that you check some more videos on my channel on the topic of Google Ads and also have a look at my training program the Ecom PPC Academy where I will talk a little bit more about on in the end of this video too. This being said let's move right back and have a look at our next tip and strategy that you can use for Black Friday. All right, so I hope that this already made sense to you. I hope that you are trying these search campaigns out now. For the second strategy, also extremely interesting and also we are using Google Ads again, but this time we're actually using video ads. So everyone knows about Facebook video ads, everyone is using them, but they're exp extremely uh, expensive. Now for the second strategy, I just want to move right back to the computer. So stay tuned and let's see what we can do here to get some crazy Black Friday sales at a friction of the cost that we normally pay on Facebook. I mentioned several times already that YouTube ads can be enormously successful for your business because the cost per view and also the cost per click tends to be way lower than on Facebook, even though conversion rates are also not always that high, but in total, they can be extremely cost effective. So what I recommend you guys to try out that we did with several clients now on several Black Friday uh, occasions and it worked pretty well is something like this. So you create a new video campaign, right? And you can choose between a standard video campaign and that sequence. And that sequence means that you show people a video after they viewed another video, which is very interesting if you want to create multiple ones. But for now, let's just uh, start with a standard video campaign. And I just want to show you basically one or two things right here, because the rest is something that you kind of have to do by yourself. But first of all, I want to talk about what type of video you want to test and create. So what I found very useful for Black Friday and also as a YouTube, kind of as YouTube strategy in general is you within your first five seconds of the video, you tell something like, hey, uh, want to get up to 95% of those items here, right? Just as with the search ad that we just made. And then what you do is you show people a kind of a, a slideshow of items that are available in your store at a discount. So for example, an item might come in from left to right saying 75% off with probably the title of it right below, right? And then the next one and the next one and the next one. And you do that for like 10 to 15 seconds. And the thing with YouTube ads is you want to filter out any useless traffic, any non-interested traffic as early as possible. So the reason why you mentioned those um, up to 95% discount right away is that it gives people an idea that you are about to sell something. 
and uh, this already scares away a lot of people but those who are generally interested in buying something because they want to buy um, they go ahead and they're potentially interested and then you introduce them to these products that you offer and then you can also say something like and find out way more on and find way more on our website etc etc because only after 30 seconds of someone watching your ad you actually pay for that view or if they watch the whole ad if it's less than 30 seconds so this is extremely powerful because now you tell people what they can find on your website and if they decide that one of these products is interesting for them because you offer them such a great discount they can click to your website and you can send them right to this collection page so what you can do is for example send them to a black friday collection page where you enter all the products from the video and maybe even more than that or you send them to a category page and you make one of those videos for each category if you have multiple niches and how you find your prospects is also quite interesting because we want to use something called google in market audiences so we go right here down to audiences right and um, so we are here in google ads again creating a new video campaign we hit on audiences and we have multiple options we have detailed demographics which i don't really recommend we have affinity and custom affinity audience we have in market audiences and we have free marketing audiences now in market audiences are audiences of people that are right now looking for a certain product or or service or something like that so let's say you sell cosmetics and um, you want to offer like women a really cool cosmetics item at an 80 percent black friday deal what you can do is you can click at on this on this tab here you can uh, hit in market audiences and you look for something that fits your that fits your uh your business and your niches so uh, let's jump to beauty products and services and we let's say you sell I don't know um, fa Face care right? Let's say you sell you sell a face care product So we hit that box and now on the right hand side We see that we can get around 67 million impressions for that So of course, it's fairly broad But what you do now is you are looking specifically for people that are looking for face care related products right now And you can imagine if you hit them up with an ad saying hey face care products are, up, are are discounted by up to 95% right now and then you show them these different products this is absolutely powerful and you will see that you will get a pretty solid click through rate and that you may also get some really cheap conversions from that so it's something that i highly recommend creating this video ad talking about the product um or talking about the products that you are that you are giving away at a large discount at the moment and then using this in market audience feature from Google to find people that are looking for these products right now because obviously one um, disadvantage of of um, of YouTube ads compared to Facebook ads is that you cannot laser target that much but because of things like in market audiences and channel targeting you can still find people that are highly relevant for your business and by doing so you make sure that you connect again the right people with the right video with the right products and then send them to your landing page so this is how you go about the th about the third strategy using uh, YouTube video ads to drive traffic and sales to your store on Black Friday by leveraging crazy discounts with the right products and the right people what you need to know is that on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, it's all about average order value and selling multiple products. So I wouldn't consider it a win if you make a lot of sales, but everyone is just buying one single product because the big advantage here is that people are absolutely going crazy. And if you tell them like, hey, you get another 20% off if you buy this, you get another 40% off if you buy this, you get free shipping if you spend $10 more. People are in that mode already because of Amazon, because of eBay and they go crazy. So the goal here is not to just sell, the goal is to absolutely maximize that AOV. And how can you do that? Well, there are a ton of different apps that help you to tell people, hey, do you buy, buy this and buy these other two products and you save a total of 30%, right? Or, hey, if you pay $20 more, you are eligible for free shipping. Or if you spend $30 more, we give you an additional 20 bucks or 10 bucks discount on your whole order. And also, what is extremely important is that your uh, pricing and your discounts are extremely irresistible. So on Black Friday, it doesn't really make sense to tell someone, hey, Black Friday sale 5% off, right? Because they know that they get... Uh, those that they got those discounts everywhere and if you only offer five or even ten percent this isn't discover uh, this isn't considered a huge bargain so what you need to do is literally 
decrease your prices by a significant margin and what you can also do is you know right before that you can increase your prices and then you can say make it drop like increase prices by 30 percent and then drop them by 50 right and you say that prices drop by 50 percent this is by the way what many retailers do shortly before black friday they increase their prices so that they can then drop them significantly significantly and call them a huge uh, a huge discount so this being said you need to really focus on these things so don't offer anything below like 20 percent off right if you want to make a great like black friday sale tell people this part is 50 percent off this is 70 percent off tell them that for the next couple of days you uh shopping at your site will be an absolute frenzy and that people can literally get cool products at a really really low price and it doesn't really matter whether they are actually cheap because people don't immediately have something that they compare your products to. So they will just go for it and they will have a look at it and they see, okay, 70% off. They will see that they get maybe another bonus on top. Maybe they get free shipping on top of that. And it's much, much easier to convert them if you have those crazy high discounts in place. And if you combine this with strategic upselling, if you know what other products to put there, if you have some urgency in the, in the checkout process, etc., these are all things that can be done with multiple different Shopify apps. I will also link some of them right in the description for you to check out. All right, so I hope that these three tips, that these three strategies will help you this Black Friday, but also in the holiday seasons to come to sell more, sell more profitably and leave your competition behind. Now, I, as I told you, I have another little bonus for you because not only your customers should get great discounts and coupons, also you. And if you have ever been on the fence to join my Ecom PPC Academy, my training program to take your Google Ads skills, to the next level to make more and more profitable sales, then now it's the perfect time to join because in the description you can find a link with a little discount code that allows you to get the course that is already discounted because of the relaunch at a further discounted price. So if you ever wanted to join the course, if you have ever been on the fence, now is the best time to do so. I promise that you won't be disappointed. We have over uh, 50 video lessons, lessons 200 new, uh, students, um, a Facebook group behind that and everything you need to make your store successful with Google Ads, find more customers and sell more products. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you get some value out of this here today. If you did, please leave a like, please subscribe for more e-commerce content and let me know in the comments which of these Black Friday strategies you want to apply for yourself. Did you have any Black Friday strategies in place already? How is it going with your business so far? Would be interesting to know, so put it right in the comments and yeah. Again, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. I will hopefully see you in the next video too. Make sure that you check out the link in the description and I will see you next time. Bye bye.